Hi everyone, it's me Wendy from Bake with Baker B. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to watch my video, welcome. Here you can find fun, easy, and delicious baking recipe, tips and tricks for baking. If you like baking as much as I do, you come to the right place. <laughs> okay, recently I get quite a lot of questions asking me for some tips and tricks for decorating cookies. So I thought in this video, I'm going to show you some of the techniques that I use and one or two tips for professional. Look out for those pro tips. <laughs> I love doing this work because it is creative and if you like craft, this is just like craft with raw rising. I would love to get into it right away, but before I do, I need to explain to you three different consistencies of raw rising that I like to use and how to make them. You might develop preferences of your own, but this is a great place to start. <laughs> After we've sorted out how to make the icing, I'm going to show you how to decorate four different animal cookies. I can't wait to show you. Let's go and make some icing. How to make royal icing? It is super simple and it just needs three ingredients. Sifted icing sugar, meringue powder, and water. That's it. This portion is just for demonstration in this video. If you need more, you can just simply double or even triple the amount of the ingredients. Now you need to mix them at low to medium speed for about 7 to 10 minutes. I normally use my stand mixer to do the job for me, but this is just a very small portion, that's why I'm using my hand mixer instead. At the beginning of the mixing process, it may become quite lumpy and sticky. You just need to add one more tablespoon of water and keep mixing them until they are almost double the volume and become smooth, just like toothpaste. Don't forget to stop the mixer and scrape down the size of the bowl to make sure everything is well combined. Mix, mix, mix. After a few minutes mixing, you now can see the texture is changing. More volume and it starts to look like runny toothpaste, doesn't it? Okay, after around 8 to 9 minutes mixing, you will see the texture of the royal icing become thickened again. The color becomes bright white and loses its sheen. I think the royal icing is ready now. First of all, to prevent drying, be sure to cover the bowl with a damp cloth while working with icing. Now everything is ready. Let's dive into the different consistencies and see how I use them to decorate my cookies. Piping consistency. It is stiff icing that can hold the shape but it still can pipe smoothly. As you can see mine, the icing can hold the line. This consistency is good for decorating some detail works or outlining. Next, 20 second consistency. What's that mean? It is slightly thinner than the piping consistency. When I draw a line on the surface of the icing, it takes around 20 seconds for the line to disappear. I use this consistency to pipe the detail work or create dimension on the cookies. The last consistency that I'm using in this video to decorate my animal cookies is 15 seconds consistency. It means when I draw a line on the surface of the icing, it takes around 15 seconds for the line to disappear. This consistency is used for flooding a big area, which I would do by drawing a boundary and then filling in like this. 
What tools do I use to change the icing consistency? Adding a tiny amount of water can change the icing consistency, so I prefer using this pipette or glass dropper or spray bottle to add the water to thin the icing. It is just easier to control the amount of water adding into the icing than using a spoon. But don't worry, if you add too much water into the icing and it becomes too thin, you just need to add powdered sugar into the icing to stiffen it. The next question is about how to color the raw icing. Gel food coloring is the best for coloring the raw icing. If you use powdered or watery one, it can affect the consistency of it. Also, I like using a toothpick to add the food coloring into the raw icing because it is just easier to control the amount of the coloring. Then you just need to mix them well with the spatula. Now we have our colored raw icing. How to easily load it into a piping bag without any mess? I'm going to show you a super simple pro tip. Get a tall glass and place your piping bag into it. Then pull the top down around the sides of the glass. The glass actually will hold the bags in place while you load your raw icing into it. How simple is that? When you finish loading it, simply just pull the bag out, flip the top up, and squeeze the icing to the end. Then secure it by tying a knot at the top. Now this step is completely optional. I found the top of the piping bag is too long. I just use a pair of scissors to cut it off. And it makes the decorating process easier. Now I'm going to show you another pro tip. We need to find the seam of the piping bag and place it in the middle. Use a pair of scissors to cut a tiny hole at the end. By doing this, when you pipe a line, you will have a round one instead of a flat one. Try this. Now you are good to go. Let me show you how I decorate my animal cookies by using these three royalizing consistency. Style 1. Elephant. Style 2, Giraffe
Rosary Lion. Style 4, Monkey. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. 
and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun easy and delicious baking recipe or you just want to learn more baking tips and tricks i would absolutely love to see the picture of the design that you have created please hashtag baker on social media so that i can see your creations mm, in terms of making the cookies to decorate any simple sugar cookie recipe will do if you don't have the mold there is nothing to stop you to make your own using foil the only creative limit is your imagination all right so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video happy decorating Bye-bye!